but Mercedes, for the first time in 31 races, do not have a car on the front row. And you go back to Singapore 2015 as the last time they didn't have a car on the front row, and that was the last time that Sebastian Vettel was on pole as well. He qualified second here last year. He picked up a five-place grid penalty. As far as we know at the moment, that is not going to happen in 2017. They came here, Ferrari, expected to be playing second fiddle to Mercedes on this qualifying day. It's become apparent from the outset that that wasn't going to be the case. Ferrari one and two, Mercedes three and four, Red Bull five and seven with Felipe Massa right in the middle. Nico Hülkenberg, another fine qualifying performance from him in the Renault. Two Force Indias in the top ten for Perez and Ocon as they look to continue to score consistent points. And right at the top there, Sebastian Vettel on pole. It was disappointment for Jolien Palmer. He crashed. Pascal Wehrlein went out as well. Fernando Alonso scrapes into Q2. Stoffel van Dorn, his teammate, will start right at the back because he's got a 15-place grid penalty. Don't forget, Carlos Sainz goes back three places as well. And that's a qualifying that we are going to sit down and watch again tonight because it's well worth it. Good session. Great driving. Thrilling stuff from the neutrals perspective and there is the finger because he is number one today and it's 127 races since they last locked out the front row back in France at Magnicor in 2008. Valtteri Bottas will be happy that he's out of his teammate uh, but not so the fact that they are behind the Ferraris who noticeably have had a better car on Sunday. Lots to look forward to in the build-up to the race tomorrow. You're in for an interesting...